Welcome back to another video where today we're going to be diving into the top 10 best zombie VR games. Now I know there is an abundance of zombies VR games out there already, but today I have refined it down to the top 10 that you actually want to experience. And honestly, if you're looking for this type of thing in VR, then these are going to be the ones that are going to set you on the path for greatness and longevity and fun. I've also picked these so there's a variety of different platforms, whether you're on PC VR, Quest or PSVR 2, you're going to be able to dive in and have a good time. If you would like to, and I'd really appreciate it, smash like and subscribe. It's free and it helps up the channel massively and it really does help these videos get seen by more people. Now let's dive into our first game on the list, Arizona Sunshine 1 and 2. Now I put both of these games on this list for a reason because both of them are incredible, good fun, multiplayer zombie slaying action. Now in the first game of course it's a little bit dated now because it is just that bit older but it's still a absolute cracking game and if you can get it at a bargain and it's cheap, well this is a really good fun way to get in with a friend and just go off and slay some zombies. Now it has an amazing campaign that runs right the way through this as well as some DLC story mode campaigns that really do have like some fun moments in there if you want to just get in and experience a bit of murka as well as of course you know shooting zombies in the face in an apocalyptic world. Now we move into the second game. The second game has only come out just recently and this one of course has had a massive graphical bump so if you're going to be playing this on PSVR 2 or the PC you're going to be having an incredible time. It's also not too bad on the quest as well looking pretty damn fine as a quest game but of course if you want the ultimate graphic power then you're going to go for one of the other headsets. This game though again has an incredible story built right the way through it where you have a companion dog buddy who is going to be helping you out on your missions and well let me tell you you're going to get pretty attached to that dog and some things are going to happen in this story that get kind of emotional but nonetheless this is definitely one that you need to check out. Next up we're diving into the world of The Walking Dead in no other than Saints and Sinners. Now I know everyone loves this game because well it's one of the most popular games in virtual reality and not only is it one of the most popular games in VR it's honestly earned that place for a good reason as it is the ultimate scavenging zombie game that we really have in virtual reality as of right now. Now this really has a true open world feel. It's not a true open world but it has that kind of feel to it as you move through the world into these different sections of it and experience scavenging to stay alive, meeting other NPCs that are going to sort of either aid you or fight you. Then there's the overarching story that goes between the first and second game and of course I've put both games in this list because if you ain't playing chapter one and two well you need to because both of these games are absolutely incredible and the continuation of the story makes it just feel amazing. Make sure you dive in and experience this for yourself as honestly you're going to lose yourself for literal hundreds of hours in this game if you want to um, but it of course has this wicked campaign that's going to run right the way through it and going to keep you locked into your place as you go. If you're anything like me though you're probably going to get distracted and start scavenging, looting and going off everywhere and doing your thing as well as trying to do missions. Next up is one of the games that I have the highest amount of played hours in out of every VR game I've ever played and that would be After the Fall. This is really that left for dead feeling type game where you're getting there with you and three other buddies so a team of four to destroy your way through Snowbreed, i.e. zombies. Kind of keeps you on your toes as you're going as each game mode is procedural the only thing that really stays the same is the boss that you're going to be fighting at the end. Other than that the experience you have from A to B is going to feel very different because the zombies come out of different areas, the amount of zombies, what types of zombies, all of those things are going to change per run. It also has a very grindy element to this game as well where you're going to be unlocking weapons the more you play it, weapon skins for doing certain things in the game and of course just having an absolute freaking blast with you and a bunch of mates. Don't overlook this game it's had a bunch of DLCs and stuff added into it as well keeping it a very active community. Next up is Survive or well I guess you would say S U R V 1 V 3 <laughs> now that is a very complicated name but it's a fun one nonetheless you can check this out of course on multiple platforms as well. You're going to be fighting your way through zombie infested streets searching out a cure for the devastating V1 V3 virus. Well, that really clears up why they have that in the name. Uh, you can do this alone or with friends, co-op, you'll explore, craft items. Uh, this really is all about scavenging for survival again and really exploring this world with your friends. This has got a very cool story that leads right away through it and honestly, I highly recommend that people check this one out as it's just a good quality of life game that's got some fun zombie killing in it and of course, getting in with your friends makes all the difference when it comes to zombie slaying fun. Next up, we have Survival Nation. This 
it's available on Quest and PC VR, and this is really one of those more full experiences of actual survival in the apocalyptic world. Now, yes, there's definitely a bunch of zombies in this, which keep you active and integrated into the game, but on top of that, you have to survive for hunting, for eating, you have to be able to go around and do a bunch of missions for different people. There is a very big world in this as well, for a quest game mainly, there's a fairly big world that you're going to get to experience and explore. And on top of that, of course, you have the impending doom of zombies attacking you everywhere you go, keeping you on your toes and making sure that you need to keep that ammo up so that you can destroy anything that comes your way. Now, these ones are, of course, a absolute no-brainer when it comes to VR, and that is the Resident Evil franchise. You're able to play this whether you own a PSVR 1, you can still get in and play Resident Evil 7, or, of course, if you're on more modern systems like the PSVR 2 or the Quest, then you're going to be able to jump in and experience Resident Evil 4. Now, Resident Evil 4 on the Quest is, of course, the older version of this sort of brought to life in virtual reality. Then we have the remake of this, the most up-to-date version of Resident Evil 4, for the PSVR 2. Any one of these that you pick up, you're going to have an incredible time. Of course, we all know what Resident Evil is by this point, but seriously, if you haven't played this already, you absolutely need to experience this in virtual reality. It's some of the most top-notch AAA-style virtual reality that we actually have out there, so make sure you go check this out, as it is truly a polished experience that's going to give you just, well, endless fun. Next up we have Propagation Paradise Hotel. Well this one you are going to be playing as the twin sister as you are looking for your twin sister in the hotel. Now going through this place you are going to find some horrific zombies, bosses and various other things like you know puzzles that you're going to be solving along the way and uh, you're going to have to witness some terrible terrible things. Honestly this game really keeps that suspension and tenseness right up the entire time as you're going through this because well it's a dark ass hotel that you're creeping through hoping to not get eaten along this journey. This one actually is a really fun game to get into, very indie feeling, but nonetheless has that sort of tension and everything that really builds throughout the experience that keeps you locked in and experiencing more and more of this just leads you to uh, probably rip off your headset and scream. So have fun. Next up is The Living Remain. Now this is actually a very indie title available on PC VR, but it honestly is one of the better story modes that I've played throughout a zombie apocalypse. As you are fending to get back to your family, you're gonna be able to do some, you know, pretty intense things. There's really a little bit of something for everyone in this, and I've really personally enjoyed the storyline to this as well. It lasts for about four hours. You can pick it up fairly cheap on Steam most of the time. And honestly, this is one just to experience because like I say, it's got an incredibly solid story that you'll be able to go through it. Some really good voice acting as well. And on top of that, they've really toyed with all of the VR mechanics that make VR good and immersive. And then, you know, to top it all off, you're going to be shooting zombies in the face. I mean, the theme of the entire video, so I need not even point that out at this point, I guess. Then we have Drop Dead The Cabin. Now, this has two folds to it of why it makes it so awesome, in my opinion. You either have the multiplayer side of this, where you're going to be defending the cabin with a group of friends or solo, and you're going to have to refill the batteries in order to make sure that you essentially get, like, saved at the end of this. So you need to stay alive for a set period of time, and, uh, yeah, it gets very hairy as there's a lot of different types of enemies. On top of that, though, you also have probably one of the best mixed reality modes that we have currently on the quest and that is the drop dead mixed reality version of this and that is where you actually turn your own room into the cabin and you can place all the windows around doors and zombies are going to try and break into your actual house as well as you have horrible things like leeches growing on your walls jumping out and attaching themselves to your hand making you throw your weapon away and ah, scream terrified and uh, yeah it's definitely probably one of the best mixed reality experiences i've personally played so far on the quest 3. And last up, we have a game that's going to be coming out later this year, and that is Zombie Army VR. Now, I wanted to mention this in today's video just because I know that if you're interested in zombie games, this is one that you're going to care about coming out. And me personally, I am pretty damn excited when it comes to this, just purely because, well, I love the franchise, and this game is looking like it's going to be very freaking cool. Now, I cannot wait to dive into this myself. Of course, you're going to be jumping into that very familiar franchise of the Zombie Army, where you're going to be the sniper elite dude, basically fighting zombies instead of Nazis. Well, honestly... <laughs> I mean, what more could you want? Killing zombies, some x-ray kills, and of course, going into that sort of Call of Duty feeling-esque zombie mode where you're going to be upgrading characters to go through it and surviving just as long as you possibly can. Uh, I believe there's going to be a bit of a campaign to this one as well, which is looking pretty dope. Uh, I'm genuinely very hyped about this. If you're excited, let me know in the comments down below. Now, of course, that is going to do it for my list today, but I would love to hear from you guys as well. There's going to be a bunch of you that have suggestions of VR games that I've missed off of this zombie list. 
So let them me know in the comments down below because then you can share your knowledge with everyone else. And of course, like honestly, let's just get more people into VR gaming. And the best way to do that is to share all of these awesome games that already exist in VR. And uh, especially like when it's quiet, like it kind of is this month, it gets people to experience some other games that they may have missed that came out maybe before they were in VR or, you know, just generally missed altogether. So that's why I like making these lists. It kind of locks everyone in and gets them into games that maybe they wouldn't have picked up else wise. 